in example three, we're going to look at three different scenarios where you could use trigonometry to find unknown sides and angles. So the first thing I'm going to write is our little jingle. So, ka, toa, to help us remember the uh, values of these three trig ratios. So let's do the following here. In this first example, we have this little 15 degree angle, which is coming from here, that's our reference point. And if I take that and connect it to the right angle box, that has to be the adjacent side. And if I throw a rock all the way across to the other side, that is our opposite. So here, the only thing we're given is opposite and adjacent. We don't know anything about the hypotenuse. So we can't use this one because the hypotenuse is needed, that sine. We can't use cosine because the hypotenuse is needed. So we have to use tangent because tangent uses opposite and adjacent. So our setup looks like the following. We have the tangent starting from a reference angle at 15 degrees is equal to the opposite which is x over the adjacent, which is 17, all right? You're trying to find the value of x, which is the unknown length. So to get x by itself, you need to undo dividing by 17. To undo dividing by 17, you multiply by 17 to both sides. This cancels, so you indeed have x by itself, and it equals to this expression, which you can solve using your calculator. So the first thing you want to do is you want to check the mode and you want to make sure that it is in degrees. If it's not in degrees, you're going to get this wrong and you press it just like you see it. So you hit 17 times tan 15, like the following and you hit enter and you should get approximately i lost my mouse again where am i you should get approximately 4.56 we'll round it to usually i like to do these to either the tenths or the hundredths place so two decimals is fine okay so if you have an unknown side, and it works out like this, where x is in the top or the numerator, you multiply both sides. This is the general format, okay? Moving on to the middle example here. First, let's circle our reference angle, which would be easy to do if I had my pen. So here's the reference angle. So let's figure out what pieces we're working with. This is the long ramp across from the 90, so that's the hypotenuse. And this is the opposite because you have to cut through the triangle to get there. So now we're playing with OH. So the little fancy, funky little word here that uses OH is SO. The S stands for sine. So we've got sine starting from a reference angle of 47 degrees is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite is 14, and the hypotenuse is, we don't know, it's x. Now, this works a little bit different because now you're unknown, your x is in the denominator. So you have to get it out of the denominator. How do you undo dividing by x? Well, the inverse process to dividing by x is multiplying by x. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other. So now those cancel. Let me do a rewrite. x times sine. 47 equals 14, okay? So now you're asking yourself the question, how do I get x by itself? Well, you have to do the inverse process. To undo multiply, you divide. So you divide both sides by sine 47. In this case, these cancels, anything divided by itself cancels to one. So you have x by itself, x equals, whatever 14 divided by sine 47 is, use your calculator. 14 divided by sine 47 is 19.14.
All right. So this is the general process of X is in the, the denominator. And our third and final scenario would look like the following, where the angle is unknown. So here it's a question mark. I'm going to replace that with X. So our reference angle is unknown, but I can still label what I have. The reference angle to the 90 degree box, that path is always the adjacent. So nine is your adjacent. 10 is the ramp or the hypotenuse. So that is H for hypotenuse. So now, uh, let's see, sine uses opposite hypotenuse. Nope, cosine uses adjacent and hypotenuse. Yes, that's what I have here, adjacent and hypotenuse. So now for this one, I am using cosine. Okay, so we will write it out. The cosine starting from the unknown angle x is equal to adjacent on top, hypotenuse on the bottom. So that would be nine over 10, adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, how do we find the angle? Well, in this case, you have to take the inverse. So we have to take the inverse cosine, which on the calculator you get by hitting the second key. The inverse cosine of nine over 10 will give us X degrees or the angle. So again, you punch it in your calculator, you hit second cosine, nine divided by 10, enter, and you get 25.8 degrees. Okay, it's degrees because it's an angle. So you have to hit the second or the inverse key if the angle is missing. And the other two, you use just the regular sine, cosine, or tangent functions. And, you know, it's a little different look depending on what you are given. Okay, I hope that helps. Feel free to rewind and rewatch and always pause as needed. Now it's your turn to practice.